today based on a degree of a vertex we learn few more things of a graph first is isolated vertex isolated vertex it's a vertex of degree 0 means a vertex which has no edges incident on it suppose this is the graph okay and here is the vertex say this vertex is v1 v2 and v3 okay of course it is a disconnected graph here for a vertex v4 there is no edge incident on this therefore degree of this vertex is 0 so this is called an isolated vertex a vertex for which degree is 0 degree of v4 is 0 next is pendant vertex pendant vertex it's a vertex of degree 1 means there is only one edge incident on the particular vertex then it has got degree 1 and such vertices are called pendant vertices here this one vertex v1 and vertex v3 have degree 1 so degree of v1 is 1 and degree of v3 is 1 therefore these are the vertices of degree 1 they are nothing but the pendant vertices now based on the edge uh, if suppose i have two edges these two edges they share a common vertex v2 and its degree is 2 degree of v2 is 2 that's why what i'm calling these edges say let me name these edges first e1 and e2 i'm calling these two adjacent edges as series since their common vertex is of degree 2 two edges in i mean let me say series two adjacent edges are in series if their common vertex is of degree 2 i'll take few more example in fact one more example this is my graph let me name the vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 now this e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 now i can say edges e1 and e5 are adjacent of course and I'm saying these two edges are in series because their common vertex is V1 is of degree 2. E1 and E5 are in series because their common vertex V1 is of degree 2. Now, I cannot say E3 and E6 are in series because their common vertex is of degree 4. Similarly, here I cannot say E1 and E2 are in series because their common vertex V2 is of degree 3. Uh, E1 and E2 are not in series because their common vertex v2 is of degree 3 remember two adjacent edges are said to be in series if their common vertex is of degree 2 next regular graph again this is based on the degree of a graph a graph in which all the vertices are of equal degree then such graph is called regular graph a graph in which all vertices are of equal degree 
v4 here you can say this vertex v1 is of degree 2 this is also degree 2 this is also degree 2 and even for this vertex also degree is 2 i can make it 4 means i am making degree 3 now this vertex v1 is of degree 3 v2 is of degree 3 v4 v3 v4 all vertices are of degree 3 so a regular graph is a graph for which all the vertices have got same degree next is null graph null graph a graph without any edge is called a null graph 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 without any edge is called a null graph in fact every vertex in the null graph is a is an isolated vertex This is my graph V1, V2, V3. Of course, this is disconnected graph in which each vertex is an isolated vertex. Means there is no edge incident on that. Therefore, all the vertices are isolated vertices and such graph, graph without any edge is called a null graph. Next, subgraph of a graph subgraph a graph g is said to be a subgraph of g if all the vertices and edges of g are in g let me explain with an example this is my graph now v1 v2 v3 v4 okay now edges e1 e2 e3 e4 i'm defining i'm saying g1 is a subgraph of this g this is g okay i'm saying g1 is a subgraph of g if all the vertices of g1 and edges of g1 should be in g Only this part if I consider edge E1 and E2 vertices V4, V3 and V2. Now look at this edge E1 is there, edge E2 is there in G. All the vertices V2, V4, V3 are in G. Therefore G1 is a subgraph of, subgraph of main graph G. If I draw one more. Now see E3 is here, E4 is here but here there is one more edge extra let me call it as E5 which is not there in G therefore this is not a subgraph of not a subgraph of main graph G for this graph okay subgraph G I mean I'm saying graph G is a subgraph of G if all the vertices and edges of G are in G. So, G2 is not a subgraph of G. Next is, any two subgraphs of a graph is said to be edge disjoint if they don't have any common edges. Suppose if I draw G3 like this, and uh, sorry now if i draw g5 as edges e1 e2 e3 and g6 as an edge e4 then they don't have any edges in common therefore i'm calling g5 and g6 are edge disjoint subgraphs of graph g 
two graphs two subgraphs are said to be edge disjoint of a graph if they don't have any common edges please note that every graph is its own subgraph and any single edge or any single vertex is also a subgraph of main graph